and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Vanelli. Now, our topic today is how to take old looks that were created for, let's say, version um, 3, and how to convert them to be able to use in version 4. And along the way, I'm going to show you a new little tool will pop up when an old, back then called filters, appear in Luminar 4, which we use as tools. Now, before we begin, let's take a moment and thank our partner, Fuji Film. Fuji reminds us to stay safe, stay creative, and stay at home. Now, this is a very special episode for me today. Um, I'd like to dedicate this to my brother, Tommy. He just recently passed away earlier this morning. And as a big brother, I want to thank you so much for always believing in me. So this episode's for you. Now, with that being said, I have to make sure I really knock this one out of the ballpark. All right, so let's get started. Here we are with one of the images um, that, that I took from a, a wrestling camp. Now, I used... Um, the tonality vintage look. And the look I chose was called Memories. Now, if you notice, this is pretty cool, over here, look, a new tool just popped up, and that's called the Deprecated Tool. That right here, if I click on it, it'll show me which of these tools, well, back then, filters, which of those filters no longer exist or have been replaced in Luminar. Now, before I show you these here, you get download. I'm going to come over here to show you this. If you click on Get More Looks, Luminar, you're going to open up to the Luminar Marketplace. And if you click on Looks, there are some paid ones. And if you go all the way to the bottom, which the ones we're going to be working on right now, it'll be the, the Tonality Pack by Richard Harrington. And notice it was originally designed for Luminar 3, but we can still use them for Luminar 4. So you would just click more and then download. And then from there, um, you can work on uploading them or installing them inside Luminar. So those are the free looks that we'll be using. And the one I chose was memory. I just, I absolutely loved this look. However, once we click on that deprecation tool, you'll notice these are the tools that are used or the filters that were used to create this that are no longer here. Now, clarity, it's not being used, but if I were to turn it on, I could still use it. So even though it's no longer supported, in, it's no longer in Luminar, it's still supported, but the goal is to get rid of those as, as soon as you can. So this tool or filter wasn't being used. So watch what happens. If I click reset, it disappears. Perfect. The temperature tool or filter wasn't being used, so let's get rid of that. So the two that are being used, and actually microstructure wasn't being used, so let's get rid of that. So the two here that are actually being used is structure and tone. Now watch this. If I click on, if I, if I turn structure off, look at the huge change. Here it is. On off so structure was actually replaced so i'm going to keep it off for now structure was replaced with ai structure and so ai structure if watch this if i turn if i go to 100 it does nothing to the skin it's human aware and it knows only to to um to affect let's see the uniform or the background so that's what AI structure is doing, and I could boost it to intensify it. But the tool that's going to make a huge difference for us are two of them. The detail enhancer, and then, of course, the, I'm going to come right over to it right now, the creative tool right here. My favorite, the dramatic tool. All right? So those would be the two tools we'll be using. Now, I'm going to increase the amount. However... I want to bring the, the, the brightness way down. Ooh, look at that. So that's looking really cool. And the, what's so cool about Dramatic 
is it applies a saturation to the, to the image and it's pulling away from some of the colors. Now, to get that gritty look that the old structure used to give us, here's Detail Enhancer. Now, this one tool is going to replace three of them, small details, medium, and large. It's going to replace structure, and it's also going to replace microstructure, and it's also going to replace a clarity. So, watch this. Let's crank it up. And notice it's giving me that grit look that we're going for. Oh, look at that. So, here we go. Before and after. I'm going to close look so you can see this. Look at this. All right, that's looking really good. If it's a little too much, we could bring it, we could dial it back just a bit. But I like where it's at. So I'm going to come over here. Now, so that means structure has been fixed. I'm going to get rid of it. Now, tone. For tone, um, smart tone was used. So let's look at the difference before and after. Are you noticing it? Just a touch. Watch close again. Before, after. So really, let's turn it off. What tone is really doing is the advanced contrast filter. So here, now I get to, just like we did earlier with the, the, um, the detail enhancer, here I'm going to work on the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. So for this, let's increase the, the highlights. I'm going to balance it. Midtones. Balance it. And now let's bring out the shadows. And then balance it. Ooh, I like it right about here. Look at that. So before and after. And I'm going to go back to the deprecation filter. Now watch this. Once I clear it, boom, that disappears. So that's no longer part of the tool. So now we effectively converted this filter into memories, into um, a Luminar 4 filter. Since this is a portrait, and what's so cool about the AI portrait tools is if it isn't a portrait, let's say we're doing this on a landscape, Luminar is smart enough to bypass this. So I'm going to add a little face light. Definitely enhance the eyes. Just bring it in. And we're going to move some of the dark circles under the eyes. And while I'm here, I might as well pump up just a little bit of the skin softening. Now, let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to click on skin defect removal. Look at that. So it knows enough that these are freckles. And it's not going to erase the freckles, but it's going to tone them down. Look at this. Before and after. How cool is that? All right, I really love what it's doing to the eyes. Look at that. Before and after. So now that I have this whole new set, I mean, I, I think this is awesome. Um, I do want to do one extra, and that's AI Skin Enhancer, or I'm sorry, AI Enhancer, just a little bit. And under Light, I do want to mess with the blacks. I want to enrich the blacks a little bit more. Bring out the whites, and then just bump the shadows up just a little bit. There we have it. Before, after. That is such a really cool look. So now I have my memories back. What I'm going to do is click on Save, New Look. This time I'm going to give the name, give it the name Memories. But this time I'm going to label it version V for version 4. Uh, let's see, 4.2. So now I just created that. Save it. Oh, it's already taken. So let's go version 4.3. There we go. And now we just re we just converted a Luminar look that was originally from Luminar 3 to Luminar 4. And if I come down here, start with the original. Um, the only thing I did differently to this, and I'll show you, 
is, if you notice on his arm, oh, let me get back to the, here. Um, original. All right, so the only thing I did to this was I erased the scar here because if I didn't, watch what happens. Let's go to, me oh, the memories is going to be under my user luminar look. And here we go, version 4.3. Now by doing that, there we go. By doing this, when, when it applies it, because there is a scar on his arm, uh, it's not going to look that good. So that's why I needed to erase it ahead of time. Look at that. You see what I mean? So you could erase it after the fact. Personally, I preferred... Oh, I already did it. So personally, I prefer to come in, click Erase. Let me remove the highlighter. And I'm going to use my pen to just draw in, erase it. And I just did a really quick job on that. It'll look decent. Oh, look at that. That actually looks better than decent. Actually, I'm done. And click Done. Now when I apply that special look to it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take into consideration that we fix that erase on his arm and it's not going to make it stand out. Here it comes. There it is. Look, look how cool that is. How awesome is that? So... Guys, there you have it. Now, one thing I will say, let me go back to this. If you notice, you may start getting your Luminar looks, your user looks. If you notice, I have quite a bit of them. So a workaround, what you can do is this. If I show them the folder, so now it's going to launch either Finder for Mac or um, Explorer for Windows. It's going to show me all of my Lu Luminar 4 looks. Right? Uh, let's see, where did I put it? Here we go, users. So look at this. I have 89 images in here. So what I like to do is if I select them all, if I select them all, I can convert them to a zip file and just leave only a few of them in there at a time and then bring all of them into a zip file this way, when I launch Luminar again, I'm not going to have 80-something user looks. I'll have just my core ones. And then when I want to explore some of the ones that I really enjoy, then I can just go back in and change those from there. So there you have it. So that's how we can take a look that was created for Luminar 3 and convert it to Luminar 4. And then the future uh, Luminar... Um, any, any of the future versions that come out, you'll see that deprecation filter, um, and that tells you, hey, this filter or this new tool has either been altered or it's been replaced with a different tool, and you can go from there. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. And again, if you have questions, please make sure you leave a comments below. And if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Ron Benelli, once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next coffee break.